in this video here, you're going to have Thomas Fazio narrating what's going on in a video that I made as Michael Fazio, Life as a Lobsterman in Key Largo, Florida in 1999. And this is a view of his back of his house. And across the little waterways. Oh, we're going to have to zoom back over here. Not too good with this camera? Give me a break. So, this is where he lives, on his little canal. And we'll be waiting for him to come down the canal, like the African queen. Now, let's hit the map. This is one last boat coming in. Don't know if it's Michael. This is Captain it's Jimbo's boat. Uh, probably about two hours on a full charge. <coughs> Can't read the name of it, because we don't know. They said the boys are coming in from their day of fishing. Michael will be on one of them. Don't know which one. Let's see, maybe this one. This is the Jimbo, ladies and gentlemen. The best captain in America. That's Michael's boat. That's your boat. Captain Jimbo. This is the boat that Michael will be on. Does he know I'm here yet? I don't know. But that is the Jimbo. Okay, Jimbo. Zoom in a little bit. That Jimbo, there it is. Scan past here. And, uh... We haven't seen brother. There he is. What's up, Michael? Oh yeah, look at that. Is that nice? Oh yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. Okay, there's Michael. He's unloading the Jimbo. Unloading Let's Jimbo's see. lobster traps. You know, much of a bounty he got for today. At the end of the season, the lobster traps have to be offloaded manually onto forklifts and then placed on larger pallets and stacked for the winter or for the summer. Let's zoom in on it. There we go. Now the work begins. Slowly we unload a little time. Don't you love those fish heads? I hate them dead stinking fish heads. Okay. Here he is. Michael will make the fish heads. Each one of those traps weighs 125 pounds. you can see they have to be manually manhandled onto the pallets and then once again moved to the larger storage area. And now I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because that just gets redundant after a while to the next segment where you can see a different aspect. Okay, lower the tracks up. Oops. Oops. We need to go skip ahead a little bit further.
Okay, we got a little bouncing video here. Now let's get back to Michael breaking his ass a little bit there. Oh, there we go, Michael. Load them. Yeah, that's what you want to do at the end of the day after being in six foot seas. It was rough out there that particular day. And we still need to move ahead a little bit further. We're going to go to 13 minutes. Oh, well, we can... Washing the vessel down was an, a necessary aspect of the uh, process as well. Life is a lobster man, anywhere in the world for that matter, but this particular scenario was in Key Largo, Florida. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, as you're spraying all that water all over the boat, there's stinking dead fish heads and guts being sprayed in your face and on your person from the the remains of all the nonsense that went on during the day. And there's his boss. Oh yeah, my father as usual is getting in the way. Let's see him. All right, let's pan back to Michael. Look, Ma. Look at this one. Fish piece. There's Dad. There's Dad. Being annoying, standing in the way, getting in the way of the high low. As usual. Yeah, there he is. We got Dad. Let's go back to Michael. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That's Dinner. Oh, look at that. Now we're going to skip ahead a little bit. To a part where I'm supposedly cleaning a fish, if I have this paperwork right. There we are unloading the traps. Unloading the lobsters. And the pelicans are looking for a free meal. Yeah, you don't load them up, load them up. See you. I am the person in the family that hated fishing. And here I am fishing and cleaning fish. Amazing. I never fished a day in my life until I moved to Key Largo. I know. I don't know. I, I butchered it. What is it then? Hogfish. Hogfish. Me cleaning fish. Imagine that. Okay. Hey, you're going to lose your lunch there, Mike. The big guy right behind you. Keep that thing running? Yeah. Just because I ain't looking through the view. 
I wonder how that tastes with the wire. It's going, Mike. We had to haul the boat up six or seven feet so another vessel could dock. Now I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. We're a little too close, we got guys from all around. Okay, everybody's way. That's what I'm going to do. We just get everybody's way. Look at this, Michael. That's what I'm going to do. Look at this. 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 Look